Next example I'm doing on the box method is going to be number two. Once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these binomials and put it in the top two boxes. I'm taking the other binomial and put it in the bottom two boxes. So let's take 5a, the first term, place it there. I'm going to take the negative 4, the operation and the term, and place it here. Now I'm looking at this binomial and I'm putting it in the side two boxes. So first term, 8a, and then the operation and the next term, negative 2. Once again, we're going to multiply to get inside the box. Okay, so I'm going to multiply number times number, and then I'm going to look at how many variables I have. Okay, so if I'm looking at the number times the number, I've got 5, and I'm multiplying by 8, I get 40 coefficients. And I've got a to the first, a to the first, so you've got one up here, you've got one right here, you add those together, I've got a squared. I'm going across, so 8a times negative 4, I can multiply those and I get negative 32a. Now I'm going down, 5a times a negative 2 is a negative 10a. And then a positive, because negative times a negative, positive 8. Now once again, we multiply to get inside the box. Once we're inside the box, we are combining like terms, so I'm adding those together. 40a squared goes first because there are no more a squareds. And I'm going to add these together. They're both a negative. They're both a to the first power. So when I add those, I get negative 42a. And then last but not least, I've got the number at the end plus 8.